ready. Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. Latest news in the streets. Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. So we got to talk about this situation um, with Jeezy. So if y'all don't know, Jeezy... Finally broke his silence. Now, the other day, Jeannie's broke her silence. She went to go talk to Sherry Shepard on the Sherry Shepard show. And I thought it was, you know, I thought it was cute. You know, she talked. She seemed really sad and everything. So now Jeezy's speaking out. He finally released a statement. So I'm going to go ahead and read to y'all what Jeezy had to say about this divorce. This is, child, a hot mess. Okay. So this is what Jeezy posted today. He says, the decision to end this chapter in my life was not made impulsively and comes with a heavy heart. Despite this, my love and respect for Jeannie remains and the time we spend together holds a cherished place in my heart. Our beautiful daughter is the best gift for my relationship and I'm committed to assuring that she feels love and stability, that she feels the love and stability that she deserves during this period. I kindly request that you respect our family's privacy as we focus on healing. J. Jeezy Jenkins. Okay, let me come back on the screen. First of all, I'm tired of him and her, pull out the tiny violins, requesting privacy, respect, and all. Y'all made this shit public. We were mind our own business, okay? And y'all came out of nowhere and announced a divorce. And of course, we're going to be in the mix because y'all just got married. It hasn't even been two years. And you know what's really sad? That people are calling something like marriage a chapter in their life. Oh, that was just a chapter in my life. No, this is marriage. It's not supposed to just be a chapter. Not after like a year or two. And you know what's, what else is really sad is that for so long, we all know Jeannie didn't want any kids by her ex-husband. You know, she was like, oh, I don't want kids. I don't want kids. And not only did she like, you know, drop her guard down and, you know, have a baby with Jeezy and all that only to find herself getting divorced. And this also proves, ladies, okay? And I don't know what all Jeannie did because he still did not tell us anything. That was just a bunch of mush mouth bullshit, right? But whatever she did, it was so bad that he's not even willing to like forgive, rectify, Think about when the shoe's on the other foot, right? Let's just keep it real. When men mess up, we will give men chance after chance after chance. We'll even blame ourselves when men mess up. Like, oh my God, what did I do wrong? You know, it's my fault that he's cheating. It's my fault that, you know, that whatever. Like, we'll sit here and like, we'll blame ourselves. We'll try and, you know, rack our brains. We're going to church. We're praying about it. You know, we're like sending extra tithes to the pastor. You know, just pray for my marriage. Oh, my God. I'm not going to lose my marriage. Damn, a bitch mess up one time. He's like, I'm out. See you when I see you. Like, damn. That's crazy. It's like, did, did she did she get caught giving some sucky sucky? Like, what, the, what did you do, Jeannie? It's been something bad, child. She done got caught getting some sucky sucky to Mario Lopez or some shit. I'm just playing. Let's not be a messy. Something happened and he just chucked the deuces. But I know if he would have been the one, like, like, let's just say, for instance, if he would have cheated, oh, she'd have been praying to Buddha and, and whoever else, you know, to, to keep her marriage intact. I don't know. I just, I find that very, very problematic to me. That as soon as something is not right, you know, for a man, as soon as he doesn't feel right about something, there's no grace. That's it. I'm moving on. But like, you know, women, like we will give grace. Like we will, we'll take back a cheater time and time again until we finally get tired. We will like deal, we will deal with so much nonsense. And um, it's sad. I think it's really sad because he really didn't say what happened. So it, I mean, was it that bad that there's no reconciliation? There's no reconciling? Y'all just had a baby. Y'all just got married. 
You know, it's insane. Somebody said on the shade room, what they say? They said, um, Jeezy got his mixed kid and dipped. This nigga think he a Kardashian. <laughs> Y'all know the shade room comments ain't shit. They're calling him Jeezy Kardashian. <laughs> said he had him a little blazing baby and dip. Like how Chloe and, and Kim be dipping after they have all the mixed babies. I fell the hell out. But I think the whole situation is sad. You know, again, I wish it could have worked out for them. Um, but, you know, we're not in their marriage. So we don't know what caused the deterioration of their relationship. What made them fall off. What made them, you know, just not want to work it out again. But I think it's sad. You know, it's sad anytime you see somebody's relationship, you know, just end like that. Because a lot of people were rooting for them. You know, people were making them couple goals. Not me. I keep telling you, I don't make none of these weirdos my couple goals. Because, again, people be so focused on other people's relationships. But, again, you don't know what's going on behind the scenes. If people would, like, stop the couple goal shit and make, um, you know, put that focus into their own relationship, it'd be a lot better. You should make your man your couple goal. You and your man. You and your significant other. That should be your couple goals. Not celebrities. You know what I'm saying? So... I just find the whole thing just really sad. And I think, too, it also speaks to people in this day and age, they don't take marriage seriously. A lot of people feel like marriage is, you know, a pretty dress and looking good and walking down the aisle and having a party and, you know, all my friends and family and, you know, posting on social media. Yes, that's a part of marriage, right? That's a part of the wedding. But once the wedding is over... Then that's when the real, you know what I'm saying? That's that's when everything really comes together. That's when you really get to know that person. That's when you have to realize, are you able to love this person through their flaws, through their mistakes? You know what I'm saying? Through the things that they do that irk you, that get on your nerves. Can you still love them through that? And I feel like a lot of people in this day and age, they don't respect relationships. You know, people try and clown me sometimes like, oh, you're single, you're whatever. I'm sorry, but... If me having to have a man means that I have to put up with bullshit just to say that I have a man, fuck out of here. If me having to have a man means that I have a weak ass husband who will sit there and watch me crash out, fuck out of here. You know what I'm saying? So it's like I'd rather be in a situation where I am happy and, you know, looking for the right person than just settling down with anybody. And especially you got to think about it like this, ladies, when and even men, you know what I'm saying? When you have things to lose... The right person can either make or, or, or fuck up everything you build. And I'm not just talking about like social media and all this stuff. I don't care if you have like a good corporate job. If, you know, if you work for the police force or, you know, you work in construction. A, a crazy bitch can, you know, fuck up your job and can come to your boss and say all types of stuff. So you need to make sure that you're with somebody who is equally yoked, who they also have something to lose. And too many women out here, thank you. It was like, preach, auntie. Yes. To, um, Andrea said, why did I get divorced? Oh, yeah. yeah. Let her delete Andrea's comment. Andrea, are you new here? Girl, I've been divorced for 10 damn years. I got divorced because my husband, you know, he wanted to run the fucking streets. I've talked about this. Like, my shit is an open book. You know what I'm saying? And I got tired of that. I've, I've realized my self-worth. I'm not going to put up with cheating and, and disrespect. You know, but we're in, a, we're in a good space. You know, we get along now. You know, the past is the past. I've grown. I'm blessed. He was my energy vampire. And once we went our separate ways, you know, my blessings came rolling in. Sometimes the people that you're with and that you're in a relationship with, that you're sleeping with, that's your boyfriend, your girlfriend, sometimes those are the people that are blocking your blessings. So honestly, my divorce was a blessing. But yeah, not y'all deleting her comment. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. And so... Will I ever get married again? Yes, to the right person. I don't think there's anything wrong with marriage, but I take it very seriously. Like when I took my vows before God, I took that with the intention of married for life. But not if the other person is disrespecting the marriage. I'm not going to put up with that. You know, so like I said, yeah, once you learn your self-worth and you realize what you're not going to put up with, you're not going to put up with this. So people want to clown me because I'm not going to just settle and just, you know, be like, I got a man, my man, my man, my man. No, I'm not going to do that, you know? So again, when you have things to lose, you move accordingly. You're not going to just bring any and everybody into your space, you know? Because again, the right man or woman can destroy everything that you've built. And I think the problem with a lot of relationships nowadays, they're not built on a foundation. They're built on lust. 
everybody's so used to hookup culture. Y'all are literally building things based off of somebody swiping right or left on, on Tinder. Like, just somebody swiping right and saying that you're cute is enough for you to fuck them in the same day. That's not, you're not building anything on that. You're not getting to know that person. Anybody can have sex, any, anybody can have lust, but you're not getting to know that person. So people are doing things backwards. They're hooking up, they're having kids, and then they're trying to get to know that person. No, it's, you have to get to know that person first before you even sleep with them, let alone have a kid with them, you know? And I think that is the problem. Like we just live in a microwave society where everything is for the gram. It's for social media. It's, you know, I have to have a man before I turn 35. I have to have a baby by the time I'm 25. We're putting all these restrictions and we're rushing instead of getting to know that other person. So for me, any relationship, anybody I'm dealing with, I'm getting to know them. I want to know them. I want to know them in and out. I want to know, like, you know, is there going to be something here? Because I don't want to waste my time. And I think that's the problem is that Jeezy and Jeannie, just from me on the outside looking in, I'm not saying that I know them personally. I think it was, it was lustful. I think he was in love with her. She's exotic. We all know she loves dark meat and big peen. Okay. Um, so, yeah, I think it was, it was some, some lustful, superficial shit. You know what I'm saying? They look good together on the gram. Jeannie's a beautiful woman. She knows how to dress. She definitely bought a softer side of Jeezy out. Nobody, nobody saw Jeezy in fucking three-piece suits. He was always, you know, in some fucking gangbang gear. You know what I'm saying? Like, he wasn't rocking around in three-piece suits and, you know, riding on a bicycle built for two. Like, she pulled a whole nother side of him out. And I think, you know, that's cool. But once the honeymoon phase ends, what all do y'all have? Because there's no reason that they should be divorced in less than two years with a kid. It just makes no sense to me. So that's why I want to know who the hell was she giving some sucky sucky to. I'm just saying, like, who did she suck off? Because he is big mad. He's not even willing to, like, you know what I mean, reconsider. He's like, it's a wrap. Next. <laughs> so I don't know. I don't know. He went from snowman to, you know, holy man. Like, yeah, you know, please give us our privacy. No, you don't get privacy. Not on social media. We want to know the T, Jeezy. Okay, you can't, you can't divorce her and then ask for privacy. Fuck that shit. We want to know what the hell happened. Because this is not, no, I'm not, I'm not falling for that. Oh, this is just a chapter. No, this is supposed to be a marriage. It's supposed to be a marriage for life, not a chapter. So we want to know what happened. I told you what happened to my shit. We want to know what happened to y'all shit. Okay? So, yeah. It's, it's sad. I mean, the baby will be fine. I mean, the baby is in good hands. Monaco is an adorable little girl. She'll be fine. You know, Jeezy, one thing he does do, he takes care of his kids. You know, he's a good dad. So she'll be fine. But I just, I know Jeannie is hurt. Because I, you know, because for a woman, think about this. For a woman to say that they don't want any kids, they don't want to have children, and she said this forever, so for her to like put herself at risk and let's not act like she's a spring chicken. No shade. Jeannie's older, right? It's not like she's 23. So when a woman is older and having kids, you're really putting your body at risk. You know, a lot of stuff, you know, as you get older, them eggs aren't egging like that. You know, you're at risk for, you know, Down syndrome and, you know, all types of stuff, you know, and a harder labor. You're putting your body at risk. So for her to like, she's 45, thank you, she's a lot older. And that, that's no shade, you know what I'm saying? I'm older too, so it's no shade. What I'm saying is that for her to risk her body in her 40s to have a baby, that's a lot. That's a lot. You know, she really loved them because she could have had a baby when she was younger in her 20s, you know? So that's a lot for her to put herself at risk. Yeah, 45, that's not, you know, that's not... Young, that's a geriatric, what is it, geriatric pregnancy. You know, again, we live in the day and age with modern medicine. And y'all got to understand a lot of these celebrities having babies at 45 and 50. That's really not the norm. You're really supposed to be having babies in your 20s to, you know, late teens, 20s, 30s. So people having, you know, 45, 50 that wasn't the norm 10, 15 years ago. It's only because of the advancement of modern medicine that a lot of these folks can have babies in their 50s. You know, so I think the fact that um, she put her body at risk and, you know, was willing to go through with the pregnancy and everything, it says a lot. So I'm sure she's very hurt, but, you know, she'll be fine. She'll definitely be fine. But the fact that he just bounced like that, like, yeah, my, yeah, yeah. Next, we want our privacy. <laughs> what the 
Like, really, Jay-Z? <laughs> so the whole situation's a mess. If you want the latest news in the streets, join us sentiment for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the Lovely Tea TV Show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the Lovely Tea TV Show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe.